So we are, where are we? We're in Gilbert. It's we're in Gilbert. Gilbert. Yep. Gilbert. We're at Waterston Central. So it's the branch off Chai Point Homes built Waterston North, Waterston South, and now this is Waterston Central. I'll take my paper out of my staple. <laughs> it's um, a move-in ready home. They give you one price, which includes everything. Oh, okay. Um, that is a corner home site, so, you know, it, it could be 15 or up. It's not only a corner, but it's also right here next to that open space. Okay. So, once they price it, they'll let us know what the actual uh, lot premium is. So, TriPoint Homes has six different series in this Waterston Central. Okay, so we're going to take a peek at some of the models. We don't have a drone, so we're not going to do the big fancy video. We're just going to be boots on the ground. I want to give you an idea of what new builds are going on down here in South Gilbert and some other areas going forward. And you can see, you know, when you get in the new build community, you got a lot of you got a lot of dirt for a while. Uh, but there's some cool model homes. I love looking at model homes. So. Let's go take a peek, open the door, and see what's going on with this one. We have Santan uh, Mountain Views, too. Okay, so this model is the Rosemary. You know, the thing that gets me about these homes, you know, when you look at it, you see these upgrades, you know, and then, but you have to tell yourself that you're, you're probably not going to spend that much money in the upgrades. And then the furniture, it's this, that's, that's the fun part about looking at new homes. Absolutely. Like, so I this mean, is look a at this stuff. Just under 2,400 square foot, three bedroom, two and a half bath with a tandem three car garage floor plan. They call it the Juniper. And the lot sizes on these homes, I think they're 7,000. I love their yeah, style. This, so this is a very small lot here. So this one isn't 7,000. This is very tiny. 61. 61, 61 yeah. 75 to 7,000 in this series. It is Chandler Schools, which I found interesting. Oh, in Gilbert and Chandler Schools. Basha High. Mm -hmm. Okay, Basha High is a relatively new high school. They have all... All the community here has gas for stove, heat pump, hot water heater. The bathrooms in new builds are amazing. The showers. Great shower. Look at that. It's missing a drip or a rain rain head. Yeah, yeah that's usually that. what you see, yeah. <laughs> and of course the obligatory closet with black t-shirts. <laughs> So this has got how many models we saw six so we're not gonna we're not gonna do them all we're gonna just kind of okay we're gonna kind of stick to the single stories just for because that seems to be the most popular right now uh, yep exactly she said they had a wait list on some of the uh so they have two series jackamar and the bramley and the Bramley uh, price point is at 600000 and above. And that one has a wait list that you have to get on the priority list. Okay, so that, for the people that are waiting for real estate to crash, that wait list has to shrink first. Yep. <laughs> and they can't give us the number, but it's estimated at 400 people. So it's taken them a year to get through uh, the first people on the wait list. So that's the Jackamar home sites. The or, uh, is it Bramley or Jackamar? Bramley. Jackamar, they went through the wait list and those start in the 660s. So what is this one priced at? What's the base on this so one? So the you know? base on this one is 611. So the one we just went through was 596. This one's 611. And we're seeing just when they get these, their 2,000 square feet, it's pretty much all open floor plan. Great room style. Great room, yeah. Usually 10 foot ceilings. And a lot of these have the. The 10 hard foot part, throughout. and this is what people need to do when they, when they go into a home like this. You're seeing all the furniture. You're seeing 
all the decorations, the light fixtures, you really need to go into the home that's not completed yet, but it's done except for the furniture and your flooring and to find out what you're really buying because you're not buying this. Right. You're buying the, the shelf, walls. The walls, yeah. So, <laughs> yep. Buying the walls. It's a huge difference. It's a, actually kind of a letdown. Yeah. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> What's the HOA? So HOA is 165 and it includes a pool. There's a lake in the center. There's fire pit pits, fire pits for uh, homeowners to use. Ramadas. There's the pool. Walking paths. They do have multiple green spaces, parks, play areas, restrooms, and plans for community events. Oh wow, you can see the community yeah, pool nice. from this one. I like this so light. the schools are Rice Elementary, Payne Junior High, Basha High, and then they li they list some of the charter schools, Meinberg Char or Charter and Private. So Basis, Legacy, Val Vista Academy and Weinberg School for the Gifted. The homes are smart technology with Honeywell thermostats, ring doorbells. Uh, the incentives right now are at 10,000 with their preferred lender. So 10,000 towards closing costs. So are you seeing much in the way of uh, price reductions at all? And in some of their their models and not in gilbert not when there's a waiting list and they've got 400 names to go through yeah so they're not going to drop their base price mm -mm. i just saw a survey i was on facebook and there was a survey about the 10 best cities to for raising a family and gilbert was number six is that nationwide nationwide yeah i believe it worst place New Jersey. Interesting. Jersey City. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Okay, here's another bedroom Bed here. So. Okay. All right, on to the next one. Should be. That one we just went through was only 2,000 square feet. I'm just it's glad it's not 116 today. <laughs> what? What is it? I'm, you're right. I didn't even look at the temperature. I it was 97, it was I think, Aww. when we got the car, but yeah, that's finally that. our fall weather. <laughs> fall weather coming. Here's our okay. So this is the Juniper, home. 2383 square feet. This is one of this is in the series that is available. So there's not a wait list for this one, and okay. they have a spec available right now. The way that they did that spec, priced it at 853. Okay, now this has a little separate area here where the other one was just a complete open floor plan. Um, I like this. It's almost a... It still has the two bedrooms in the bathroom at the front and then powder room. Okay. Laundry room. Garage. So all of them have the three-car tandem garage. Three-car? Yep, well, three-car. And it's tandem. So the 2,300 square feet in this one feels huge. Yeah, doesn't it? And right. the lot size on in this series is the 7100 or 7067, so around 7000. You really have to admire the talent of the people that stage these homes. The design is. If you left it up to me, it looked like early warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboy. Cowboy. <laughs> right. I was living in Denver when I was 21 and my dad came down to see me and I had an old shipping crate sitting down in front of the couch that oh, was, uh, you know, for a coffee table. My dad said, oh, what's your style, early warehouse? <laughs> <laughs> and it stuck with you all it's these years? It stuck with me all these years, yeah. yes. You've got it. There we your, are. I like this. You've got now, you won't have this. It'll be dirt. You're, you're going to have dirt. So that's some of the things when you're buying a new build that you want to find out if you get any uh, landscaping incentives or what they can give you. I know we did a land, a new build, it was a builder in uh, Queen Creek and they gave him uh, $27,000. That's that's what you need nowadays. Yeah. The cost of landscaping and inflation on that is not cheap. Another big shower. So if you happen to be um, 12 feet tall, <laughs> then this is for you. So. Have fun cleaning that glass up there, huh? I know. <laughs> Double sinks. At 
that's interesting. TriPoint in most states has similar product. They just rename the models. So once you see a TriPoint home, you start to recognize their Makes little. Makes sense. Yep. And then eventually this model home will be for sale when they do a closeout. That is very true. So like if you fall in love with it the, exactly the way they designed it, you gotta stick around until the closeout. I like it. So when you're looking at these new builds, some of them offer landscaping packages, right? They do. Depends. Um, this would be quite extensive. Um, probably not something you can do on your own. I couldn't do it. And then they give you so many days to That's get your true. landscaping in. Yep. So I know when I moved into a new build, you had to approve, send your plans in to get approved. And they were pushing back on me. They wanted sprinklers on the other side of my driveway. And I said, I'm not going to dig underneath the driveway. And I said, you need to hurry up and approve this because I'm going on vacation next week and I'm going to get it done. And boom, approved. So, so you can push back. <laughs> well, and nowadays, so many trees, so many bushes. Can you have fake grass? Does it have to be desert landscaping? Yeah, you got to know what you're able to do. And you got to ask those questions when you're looking at a new built community. So we're going to go back through here uh, where we started, but we're going to zip around and look at the community a little bit more. Thanks, Kate. Okay, so we're going to go check out a, a park that amenities. It's not done yet. Right, she one. said the end of October. So they're supposed to have a big welcoming, probably all the neighbors that have been patiently waiting for the community center to open. Well, there's, I guess we'll just cut across here. There's, there's uh, communities like this. I mean, we're highlighting this one here, Waterstone. Water, water Stun. Water Stun. Uh, Tri-point homes and and but they're all over the valley and uh, There's I'm anxious to get out to um, Blossom Rock. Yes, which is out uh, east of here. And we'll we'll do that in a couple of weeks, but uh, There's this is pretty common. I like this. You got ping pong tables in there It's and, uh, yeah ping pong uh, and I can show it better here. this way. Let me go up a little higher here and show it that way. Anybody want to challenge me to ping pong? Because I'm pretty good. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> did, you did you graduate uh, high school and college doing ping pong? <laughs> Had a ping pong table in the basement. And every time dad came home, he challenged me to a game of ping pong. And then my high school buddies would come over just about every night to challenge me. And I had one of my friends, I said in November, I said, I bet you can't beat me before Christmas, five bucks. He came over every night. He finally won a game December 26th. <laughs> so, so I'm not that good now, but uh, I was, uh, this is pretty cool. Nice playground, yeah. shade. shade, grass everywhere, basketball nice, court, nice and cool. When we finally get our, we have two seasons here, right? Summer and winter. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's right. We can't wait until it cools off. And then once it cools off, it's too cool and reclimatized. Well, I like to go sit places like I used to, we call it from here, not from here. And as soon as it gets to 65 degrees here, all the natives are putting on. I saw a guy walking into a Target with a down jacket. But you can tell the people that live here versus the people from Minnesota. They're wearing shorts and t-shirts and the locals are all bundled up when it gets to 65 degrees. So he lives here. He doesn't know if we can get in here. Yeah, Probably yeah. locked out. But there's the pool. Pretty nice. Now these lakes, you'll see a lot of water in in uh, in communities here, and the water is actually used. It's affluent water, effluent, um, as part of the water treatment plan for most of the cities. So putting them in um, ponds and stuff like that. Uh, they use the sun to break it down further before it goes into another treatment process. Ah. So people look at the water and go, oh, they're wasting it. No, we're recharging it. So it's... Uh, so it's beneficial. Yeah, There's especially... There's a basketball court over there. Especially the city of Chandler, they do a lot of that. So, so when you fly over the valley and you see all these lakes, just keep in mind that that is... Uh, 
part of the, just part of the process. process. So there's only a couple communities in the East Valley that actually have freshwater lakes. Um, and there's one in uh, Queen Creek that's a water ski community. Uh, and the new homes there have uh, boat docks for their for their uh, ski you say boats. Queen Creek? I know there's Queen one Creek, out in yeah. Vista too. Yeah. So it's kind and, of fun. Uh, or, actually, it probably is Gilbert. It's private though. How many homes are in this community? It was over 4,500. 4,500? 4, yep, 4,500. 45, 55, I'll have to get the exact number. But yeah, when it's completed, it's expected over 4,500 homes. Now, as of today, when we're filming this video, we have 19,700 active listings on our local MLS, but that 4,500 is not in there. It's not included in mm -hmm. that number. So it's really difficult to really get a good handle on what our current inventory is when you look at these. But then again, you've also heard there's a wait list. So um, it's tough. It's tough to get a handle on just what our inventory situation is when you look at new builds. The only thing you can really look at is number of building permits that are out there compared to other years. And we're nowhere near what we saw happening in 2006 and 2007. So who knows where it'll land, but uh, we're solving our inventory problem just slowly. So mm -hmm. hope you enjoyed the tour. We're gonna do more of these. If you have any questions, shoot us an email at rick, rickhelps.com.